Metoclopramide, one of the three essential antiemetics according to the World Health Organization. Chemical name metoclopramide hydrochloride, and sold under the brand name Maxran, it's a medication of the antiemetic class, but you could also use it to relieve migraines and treat GERD. Metoclopramide can be given IV, IO, IM, and PO. The dose is 0.1 mg per kilogram to a single max dose of 10 mg. We don't typically give PO metoclopramide in the pre-hospital environment. Refer to the patient's prescription for this. Mechanism of action. Metoclopramide inhibits gastric smooth muscles from the slowing down caused by dopamine. Metoclopramide achieves this through the antagonism of the dopamine receptors, meaning it bonds to dopamine receptors, but it doesn't cause the effect that happens when actual dopamine bonds to that same receptor. This causes a net increase in peristalsis. It's less well known how metoclopramide treats migraines, since it's not well understood how migraines are caused. The loose understanding is that neurotransmitter imbalance plays a role and metoclopramide tips the neurotransmitter scales through its antagonistic action. Metoclopramide is also documented as having 5-HT agonist effects, a receptor that is believed to play a role in migraine pathophysiology. Duration. IV, onset 1-3 to three minutes. IM, onset 10-15 to 15 minutes. PO, onset 30-60 to 60 minutes. And all routes last about 1-2 to two hours. Contraindications. Known intolerance to metoclopramide, such as allergies or other hypersensitivity, that would cause greater harm than benefit. Situations where gastrointestinal motility would cause problems. Obstruction and perforation are good examples of this. Increasing gastric motility in an obstructed intestinal passage risks making the obstruction worse, and in perforation, waste might end up escaping the intestine into the abdominal cavity. Also, if the patient has overdosed orally, you'd just be moving the problem deeper down the intestinal tract. Theochromocytoma, as metoclopramide can stimulate this disease process to release excessive catecholamines, raising the BP to critical levels. Malignant hyperthermia, or neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Metoclopramide is documented as being able to aggravate this condition. Combination with monoamine oxidase inhibitors. With all the dopamine receptor seats taken up, you'll now have excess dopamine loitering about. No problem, the enzyme monoamine oxidase will clean these up, unless it's been inhibited by an MAOI. Without monoamine oxidase, you'll have all these monoamines stirring up some vasoconstriction, which can catapult the BP to dangerous levels. Precautions Metoclopramide can also increase sedation in extrapyramidal reactions like dyskinesia, akesthesia, and dystonia. Typically a result of higher doses and long-term use, you can still cause this reaction in the pre-hospital environment if your drug administration is too rapid. Check out your local protocols or medical direction for the ability to reverse these symptoms with the use of diphenhydramine. Interested in more paramedic FOMED videos? Check out our website at paramedicresource.ca. Thanks very much for watching.